Spiky bits. Okay, guys. So here's my uh, my entry, my hat into the ring, so to speak, for the uh, Storm Talent conversions. I had been thinking about this for a while since I since the pictures were leaked. Well, I guess about ten days, because that's all the advance notice GW gives us anymore on anything. So i had been thinking about it for a while, really running it through my head, and I came up with the defiler legs to use uh, to make this uh, this uh, I call it the Stormhound Attack Walker. Um, and you know everything was good and I got it together and I started messing around and stuff and the legs just didn't line up right and it took uh, it took Goat Boy to uh, put me on the right track he's just why don't, why don't you just invert it and I literally just took the stack of legs and turned it upside down because this is this is actually if you look at the legs here uh, this is what is it let's take a look I forget exactly ah okay yeah this right here where it attaches to the hip is where the, the the claws are normally and back here is where it hooks into the actual um, the front of the defiler so that was kinda neat like just thinking out of the box and if you take a look at all the like Warhound Titans that are out there the legs the ones that at least are positioned you know relatively decent the, this set of legs or this segment of legs rather and this segment of legs are generally parallel with the middle, the middle cross, uh, cross leg there, so that was kind of cool. I did a little bit of research to try to try to figure out how to make it work, and uh, this worked pretty well. I used the uh, the Dreadnought feet, and then I took that coupler from the defiler itself, cut it off, and glued it to the foot to to couple this in. So, like I said, this is this is where it normally connects to the defiler, and this is where the claws are. Obviously, I, I cut the claws off. Actually, I, I didn't cut them completely off. Right here is where the claw was. And I connected it to the uh, heavy weapon mount for the uh, Dread, uh, Dread Knight itself. I also used the Dread Knight hips, which was perfect for this, se this section of tubing, which connected perfect over the little, the little nub uh, here for, for the, the heavy weapon mount and right up into the socket for the waist. So a lot of things really came together on this one. I used the same section of tubing here uh, to connect the fusel, uh, the, the actual fuselage here, which I drilled, I drilled down from where the uh, the flight stand goes in. As you can see, I had a couple of different ideas first that didn't quite work, but uh, that one worked pretty good, and it locks right in, uh, just like this. Bam! And it's got a little bit. The walker's got a little bit of uh, of rotation here. Not not too much, but you know, for the pose, it's it's not too bad at all. Uh, then I magnetized the the last cannons onto the sides here. I cut off the uh, the weapon uh, the weapon pod mounting. Uh, so you know, this could be this could be a couple different weapons depending on what I decide to run to run this thing as. And so just have it magnetized uh, would be a good idea, I thought. Um, then I gave it some rocket pods up here. Um, you know, kind of it kind of reminds me of a cross between the uh, Ed 209 from Robotech and a Mad Cat from Mech Warrior. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just something I wanted to do. It just kind of came together, and I, I I'm really happy. It's one of, it's one of my better conversions, I think, uh, out there. I cut off the back here uh, with some help and added one of the thrusters on it. So basically, it's it's capable of like some short, speedy jumps. Uh, to engage, you know, so I could use it as a dread knight maybe with the with the, the 30 inch jump thing or maybe give it some maybe give it a up here magnetize these and give it like a death dread arm or uh, Yeah, and basically the, the the orc dread knight give it some give it some arms here Could connect the uh, the sword to it. Maybe I don't know who knows, you know, it's just it's hard to say but uh I don't know exactly what what the rules would be for this. Maybe I'll make a apocalypse data sheet for it when sixth edition comes out. But I'm really happy with the look of it. Uh, it took quite a bit of time to make, but now that it's done, it would be easy to re reproduce. But yeah, pretty happy with it. I mean, you could use it as a storm talent conventionally because it's basically got the same weapons and it's basically about the same height. There's the uh, the helicopter that we made. So it's about the same height, so nobody can really get mad at you about WYSIWYG and such, but you know, just something to do. Oh, uh, another another trick too is when you're making this, if you do decide to make one, I I switched the uh 
I switched the mounts because this is going to the front, so I put that piece there. And on the back, it's not there. It's on, it's on the back to give it a little extra support. Because believe it or not, this thing actually weighs a lot on the top here, especially if you give it more. I gave it some shot, some lead shot in the back to try to get it to weigh down a bit, to hang back there because it was almost falling off the front. So, a couple different uh, physics dilemmas there, but once you uh, once you spend a little time on it, you'll kind of see what I did, and it's very easy to reproduce, and I think it looks amazing. So, uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this because I had a blast making it, and I kind of want to make two more just to have a squadron of them i don't know why i don't know what the rules i would run it just looks cool and that's what this hobby is all about sometimes so anyways i'm mbg rob bear i hope you enjoyed my uh storm hound conversion spiky bits <laughs>